carousel. When we were young, we rode on mommy's lap in the lion chariot on the merry-go-round, getting disoriented. The music, the music, the bells and thumping sounds, the Nickelodeon so grand, we had to cover up our ears sometimes, then seeing daddy and Aunt Sue smiling and waving at us going dizzily by. How mommy and I staggered when we got off. When I was 10, and Jenny was eight, we dashed on and raced for the big tigers and dragons on the merry-go-round that went up and down the most. We'd shriek with the music and reach for the brass ring. Then three summers later, jumping from the tiger to the yellow rabbit to the purple ostrich, then the merry-go-round's white spotted horse. So, we learned to be nimble and dodge our way through the circling years that slowly helped us learn the way to join the chase on Earth's own carousel, whose stately motion turned us all in space at speeds we hardly saw. And then the carousel again with Tim and Becky on our laps. And some years later, we sat stiffly on a bench and watched the carousel go by as Tim and Becky had their tots aboard the lion chariot again. How dizzy we became. We searched to see them in their joyful round, their ecstasy, their fear, all their spinning course close by, this whirling Earth's own carousel, until one day we left it all behind and took our place back in the open fields beneath the lawn and stars, beneath the majesty, majesty of clouds and storms that whirled along without the slightest hint of all those times when we could hear and feel the joyful carousel we knew that still went circling on the Earth's own lion chariot, its spotted rabbit, its purple ostrich that still goes circling on and on and still goes circling on out in the open fields beneath the lawn, beneath the stars and still goes circling on written about 1989.